right, before I go in and tip over, we gotta check what's going on over here, make sure everything's solid. I'm starting to get tired here, I'll be honest with you. Don't worry about that moisture tester. That thing went berserk today, so we've been testing it with the machine over here. We're running one burner at a relatively low temp. She all looks good. It's bedtime. I guess now that it's 1 a.m., I'll just go to bed and come back out at 3 a.m. I'm here. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. Keep it between the rows. Remember to check out down below if you'd like to help save lives from grain bin entrapments. And only half of you are subscribed to this channel. I'm truly disappointed. We can do better. <laughs>
and line it up and 40 foot header going through a draw and I'm off a rope. I'll be back. So Randy said that they're struggling with the exact same thing as what I was talking about on this head before where the leaves were building up so much that once in a while they'd pile up and we'd actually have to get out and pull them off the snouts. That rain definitely helped a little bit, but you can still see there's a decent amount of plant material going in, but it's better than it was, much better than it was. And just like the planter this spring, I never go fast enough in this. My, my instincts just don't want me to drive that fast. The machine will do it, but, but, but I struggle with it. So I'm, I gotta stare at that and force myself to speed up once in a while. So now I'm going six miles an hour and it'll handle it. Speaking of my buddy Randy, Hey Randy, how are things going over there for you guys right now? Hey guys, Randy, Master Pipe Blair here. We're running an S690 with a 16 roll 30 inch gearing knob corn head on it. We've got that reel up top there. Uh, corn's not coming in nice. Uh, down corn, which hasn't been an issue this year, you can uh, uh, tip that down and kind of help feed it on through. And then we run two 1050 grain carts, Kinsey grain carts, with uh, a 8345RT and an A3835RT. And uh, the two grain carts works really well. Uh, if trucks aren't keeping up, they've got a couple minutes to wait and still be able to dump. Uh, there the next truck comes right there. And the harvest has just been cruising. We've had dry conditions. Uh, the corn is drier than it's been in the last probably five, six, seven years. Farming. This has been one of the easiest, least stressful, fastest harvests uh, I have done in a long time. Welcome to Tricky Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. I'm told somebody brought me food, which I don't really need, obviously, if you guys have watched my videos. Let me in, I need to speak with Isla. Hi, Hi everybody. Hi. Isla, do you want to show the internet your cast? It's in a little sling there. She's feeling better though. You guys bring me supper? Yeah. All right, what do you got for me? Hello? Hey, what's up, Zach? Is this Nick Welker? No, it, it could be. It depends. <laughs> what's going on? And not too much, man. I'm just cruising down the 94 in a Hyundai. In a Hyundai? Nice. Well, I'm cruising across the field in a John Deere X9. Doesn't the uh, Bluetooth sound sweet? It does. Well, yours is working better. I couldn't figure out how to answer your call out. You call her, I was like, I kept hitting the answer button, and it said an answer, and then it didn't. So I don't know. Whatever. There's the worst one I've ever done. Ever. Good grief. Ah, the hopper wasn't even full. Going downhill, dry corn. That's embarrassing. Hopefully nobody sees that. Golly. Hey, look at how convenient that is. Funnels it right back down into the feeder house. Man, those engineers, they were thinking about me. Man, 10 acres later, how much? How much is up there? Unfortunately, our corn yield, well, that's pretty dang good, I guess, now that I turn the camera on. But it's not quite what we were hoping for or expecting this year. Nonetheless, we are trucking along at six miles an hour. A hair over we've got we are pushing the capacity here if you can see that uh, 5400 5300 we're burning nine tenths of a gallon per acre doing 28 acres per hour um, obviously those numbers fluctuate up and down they move up and down with the yield move up and down with the hills this thing will handle the capacity even with the plant material we're pulling in, it will handle the capacity that's advertised. But I think what would be needed would be a better yielding crop so that you wouldn't have to drive seven miles per hour to do it. It does run out of power when you gotta drive that fast, but it's got a 40 foot header on it. Uh, so it's taking in a ton of corn, but it just, I think we don't have the yield 
to push it that hard in corn. The capacity's there, the horsepower to do it while going seven miles an hour is not. If we had better corn at five miles an hour, it would do it. The capacity is there. Do you need, should I say that again, Zach? Jeez. Now I got full millennial mode going. So I go into my combine advisor, turn on the auto maintain. I've got the active terrain on. I'm not running the harvest smart at the moment, but I've got the auto maintain going here. So it's going to change every setting to maintain a good sample back there. Yeehaw. It's the first time this year I've seen any mud on the tracks in that grain cart. Last year it was packed full of it all fall. Look at that guy. Look at that guy, where does he think he's going? Yuck it out of here. Go on now. One two acre corner left in this piece. And we can shut her down for the night. That's gonna be it for this field. And fold. And no, nope, this way. Fold. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.